Hello, this is the third tutorial in the series where I show you how to make look at rotations, so how to make an actor axis point towards another actor in several ways in Unreal. This one is not using a specific look at function, it's using make rot functions. These ones, and there are many variations of them, to have arbitrary axes of your main actor point to other actors. So this one is using X. I can change it to be Y, so now Y is always pointing at this cone. And you can also have a secondary axis that says how the other axis are going to be twisted around that axis that is aligned with your, with your target. So in this case, I can change it to, let's say, I want Z to always be aligned to my secondary target here, my secondary direction. So Z is going to rotate around Y. To always try to point towards my other actor. And another usage I'm going to show you is how to replicate the rotation of one object with another object, but switching the axis where they point to. So this cone, its top side is Z and forward is X. But if I wanted to have the same rotation with different axes, in this case Z, where X is here, you can use make rot to do that too. So let's get to it. The make rot functions in real exist in combinations of all possible axes. So if you look for make rot, you're going to see make rot from X, from X, Y, X, Z, all the possible combinations and single axes. The way these functions work is the first axis in the name. So in the case of this one, make rot from X, Y, it's going to create a rotation that its X axis points exactly at the direction you pass to it. So the direction I pass into X is going to be the one the rotation is going to be perfectly aligned with. And then it's going to twist around that axis to make the other one, in this case Y, point towards the second direction you pass to it. Let me show you that in practice because it's much easier to understand. Oh, and for the single axis ones, it's going to automatically align the other axis to something. I believe it's always up, but which axis depends on which is the one you are, you're aligning stuff to. Let's go to the viewport and I'm going to enable this actor here, which is using make rot to look at something. And right now in its settings, I'm using as main axis. So the first one in the function name X and secondary X as well. So this is just make rot X. What this does is it aligns. This is my main target, by the way, the main direction. It aligns X. It rotates my actor so that X points toward my target all the time. And it keeps Z pointing up. So no matter what I do, it'll always struggle to make Z point up. See, Z never points down below the horizon. Never. It'll always be pointing up. So that's why, that's what make rot X do. It gives me a rotation that aligns, that has X pointing towards the target. Now, if I switch the secondary axis to something else, Let's say Y. My secondary target that I'm passing to the function is the sphere here. This is aligning X perfectly towards the cone because X is the first in that function, the first axis. So it's the one that's going to be perfectly aligned to the target. But it's going to try to make the secondary axis, in this case Y, point towards your other target, your, the other direction you pass into it. So the way I'm calculating these directions is I am subtracting my actor location, the one I want to rotate towards, from the target location. So for the main axis target, it's get actor location minus my actor location. So this gives me the direction towards the main target. And then same thing for the target, uh, the secondary target. And this gives me the direction to the secondary target. And then I pass those directions to these make rot functions. 
And something cool about them is you don't have to waste processing time in blueprints normalizing these vectors to make them pure directions. Because these, as they say in their description, they don't expect it to be normalized. They would normalize it themselves. So that's cool. You don't have to normalize it. So let me look at the alignment that it's doing here from the x-axis, the one that's being aligned to the cone. So as you can see, the cone is always the target for the x-axis, which is the main one that I'm passing to my function, make root x, x y in this case. I'm gonna make it so that I'm looking straight at it. And then I'm gonna move this one, which is the secondary one. So you're gonna see that I have a line tracing from my actor to the secondary actor and looking from the axis that's being aligned. You will always have this line together with the axis that it's trying to align to. So no matter where or how close to the camera, you know, you see, in 3D, I can move it in any direction. It doesn't matter. Y is always going to be trying to point towards the sphere. And that's what the secondary axis do. It twists around that main axis, in this case, X. It's going to twist my secondary axis, Y for this one, towards my secondary target, my, the secondary direction that I pass to it. So that's what these do. This is very, very useful because now, it's, unlike the other look at rotations that we've looked at so far in the previous two videos, I can make this actor point toward my target, my target with any axis. So I can make a point with Y. And because this is main and secondary both Y, it's using make rot Y function. And it keeps X always aligned to up. So as you can see, X, no matter what, is always aligned up. And that's how it creates this rotation when you choose to just align the Y. But if you do make rot from Y and Z, for instance, now Z is going to be twisted while Y stays pointing towards the target. Z is twisted in a way that always tries to point toward the secondary direction. See that? This solves a problem that the other look at functions cannot. Let's say I wanted to align this cone to look towards the sphere. Because its x-axis is this direction, this would be the side that would always be looking at the sphere. But what if I want its tip to always look at the sphere? I just have to make a rotation from Z. So Z is the main one. It's always going to point towards something. And a secondary axis, the one I want to be aligned with the up of the world or something else. So let's say I want to do X always trying to point up while Z is pointing exactly at the sphere. Let's go to the level blueprint here. Let me see the cones already selected. Level blueprint. Uh, open level blueprint. So let's get the reference. Stop simulating. Get the reference to the cone. And then I am gonna get the reference to the target as well. Select it. Go to the sphere. Get location. And then I need to compute the direction from the cone to the sphere. So destination, location minus start location. Of course, it needs to be another get actor location. So this is the direction from the cone to the sphere. That's why the sphere is the first one in the subtraction. And then I make rotation from I want to align the Z and then have Y twist towards the up vector of the world. So Z is going to use this direction from the cone to the sphere and Y I'm going to make a vector here. It's going to point up. Up is Z. So one on Z. And I set this rotation on the cone. Oops, set rotation. Okay. 
file. I'm doing this on tick, so during simulation I can move things around and they're going to keep pointing at each other. Now you see the cone is always this guy. This guy is, keeps pointing at the cone with its x-axis. But now the cone points at the sphere with its z-axis. Which is very nice. And it's trying to keep that x face always. You see how it's spinning to keep that x side pointing up or y. I don't remember which one I passed to it. Is it Z Y? I forgot. Yeah, Y. So it's always trying to keep the Y face pointing up. So that's why it spins when flipping from one side to the other. Now think with as if you had a character and this character's head. You wanted to look at something. But then the bone for that head has its forward axis as let's say minus Y. So Y points to the back of the head of the character. How do you do that? Well, you flip the vector of the direction. So in this case, I am doing the rotation from Z. Let's say I want to always point the bottom of my cone at the sphere. So it is Z, but the other side, negative Z. I need to flip this, I need to invert this direction. And you do that by simply multiplying it by minus one. Now, in Unreal 5, when you multiply in Blueprints, you have these generic nodes that you can change the type of the pins. So you right-click the pin and switch its type to float. It can be single or double precision. Unreal is going to convert it to double automatically if necessary. So I'm going to pass it to Z and convert it again because I want it to be minus one. That's how you invert a direction. So I am getting the direction from the cone to the sphere and then inverting it and using that as the Z direction. This is going to create a rotation that aligns Z with that direction. And because this direction is the opposite, so the tip of the cone is Z, it would point to the sphere. But because I'm making it point the opposite direction, it's going to make the bottom of the cone point at the sphere. So that's how you would make the head of the character point towards the other side, uh, point face, always, always face something, even if minus Y is the forward of the head. For this character's example, you would do make root from Y, which is the axis that is the forward and backwards of the head, plus you would do something like, let's say, the top of the head is X, so you want X to be always facing up so that the, the, the head doesn't tilt sideways as the character looks around. So that's what you would do. And then you pass up vector to X and the reel would do its best to align Y to the direction you pass to it, even if it's an inverted direction if you need it, and X align it to up. You can also make it down if X minus X is the top of the head, so you can make it look down. Another usage for these make rot functions is instead of just looking at something, I know this is not going to compile because I need something here, but I'm going to show you something else. Let me delete this and this. I'm going to make a duplicate of this cone. And then I want this duplicate to always mimic the rotation of the main one, but with flipped axis. Not exactly the way this, this one is rotated. So let's say I always want it to be pointing where the X of this guy is pointing. So I get the forward vector from the, the main actor, because that's its X axis. So Unreal has a name for each of these axes. If you want Z from an actor, it's the up vector. If you want X, X, it's forward vector. And if you want Y, it's right vector. And that's X, Y, and Z vectors from an actor. So it respects its rotation. If I rotate this so that it's upside is pointing somewhere else, that's where this up vector is going to point towards. 
And if you want to flip it, same thing as before, multiply by float minus one. So now this is down vector. And if I do the same to the others, it would become left vector and back vector or backward. So for this one, I want the other one to point where this guy's forward is pointing. And then I want it, let's see, I want its minus x direction. So the back of its x axis to point where this guy's z is pointing. So it would be rotated this way with this one being rotated like this. X pointing forward, minus X pointing up. So I need the up vector from this guy. Get actor up vector. And then I make the rotation because I want to align my Z and negative X. I need to make a rotation from Z and X. Then Z is the forward vector of the other actor. And X is the inverse of the up vector of the other actor. So then my rotation axis is going to point, my rotation x axis is going to point down. Convert pin, float, minus one. Compile, save. And if I simulate, oops, oh, I'm applying the rotation to the actor itself. That's a mistake. From this guy, cone three, that's where I'm going to set the rotation to. So I get the data from the other one, the rotation from the other one, make a new rotation with different axes, and apply it to the other actor. There we go. So when I rotate this, the other one is always rotated the same way. So you see the offset here is the same, but the final axes are not pointing in the same directions. And this is also very useful for when you're working with skeletons and you want to rotate bones in specific directions and you have like a rotation that your arm needs to to replicate or your head or something and the axes don't match the axes on your bones so this is how you replicate a rotation with different axes so you can see whatever the way i rotate my main cone is the way the other one is rotating but the final, the, the, the way the axis end up pointing at is different. It's as if I'm getting a rotation and just flipping some axis, switching which ones represent what.